campers. It's that time again. We are going to visit Counselor Jack. Please remember to remove your shoes upon entering the monkey house. It's just good manners. To the monkey house. Welcome back, me monkey knots. It's me, Jack, live from the monkey house. And this is the great trade-off. Thank you, audience. That's right. You can hear the trading bell is clanging in the background there, everyone. We are ready to do some high-quality trading on today's show. I am beginning this round with a handmade ornamental necklace made out of yarn and ancient apple jacks. We don't know when we bought them. They are pa practically petrified, calcified cereal that I've turned into something that it, I, I can only describe as Etsy-worthy. <laughs> this could be your necklace if you happen to be our contestant. Give it up, me monkey nods, to Brad! Hello, Brad. How are you? Hi, Jack. Hi. Thanks for being here. Hey, Brad, I just did a caveman impression. Did that sound realistic to you? Do you think that's what cave people sounded like? Yeah. I think so, too. Roar, 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 roar. That's... <laughs> At least I, I hope I didn't say anything bad there. I, I don't actually speak the language. Uh, Brad, welcome to the Monkey House. Are you ready to make a trade? Yes. Okay, first of all, before you tell us what you brought, I'm dying to know, why do you want this Applejack necklace so much? I want this Applejack necklace because, because one, um, my, si my sister has three loose teeth, and I heard you about buying it. <laughs> And losing your and losing some your teeth too. <laughs> I I like the smell of cereal. Oh, and three okay. because it'll, I think it'll look pretty cool. Oh yeah, well it definitely looks cool. In fact, I did a little fashion show earlier today and just took a bunch of pictures of myself wearing like a tuxedo with this Applejack necklace on top. Uh, I just wore various outfits, and I tell you, it goes with any outfit. So wait, your sister has three loose teeth? Yeah. She Are, just lost her first one a few days ago. Oh my gosh. Wow, so she's going for the punch card. She lost one. And she's already got three more loose ones. What happened? Like, was she hit in the mouth with, a, like, a stale baguette? Or is this just naturally when they all came nope. loose? No, it was just natural. Wow, great timing on her end. Okay, well, uh, fingers crossed. If the audience agrees with this trade, your sister's going to lose some more teeth when she bites down on this cereal necklace. Brad, what did you bring to trade? Um, I've got this mini ra I've got this mini radio that ha um that has a few that has a few stations on it. It's real it's really cool, but sometimes you have to get on um you have to get in awkward positions to tr to <laughs> hear the to hear the radio clearly yeah okay <laughs> well i'm familiar with awkward positions uh my position here on live for the monkey house on kids place live is i'm positioned in between two installments of kenny curtis's animal farm i'm sort of like i'm like the intermission in between kenny curtis's show so i understand <laughs> awkward positions i i gotta do my show uh, after all those animals came through the studio and left all kinds of gross stuff on the floor. Uh, <laughs> Brad, tell us, what kinds of radio stations does it pick up? Will it pick up Kids Place Live? Uh, no, it's not, it's not Siri, it's not Siri, it's, um, it's FM. Oh, it's FM. Oh, I've heard of that. FM. Okay, so, uh, like, will it pick up music channels or does it pick up, I don't know, talk stations? Yes, it picks stations? up music channels. Uh, and what kind of music plays on this radio? You said it's only a couple channels. What what stations does it pick up? Well, there's some. Well, there's some. There's pretty much all the all um, kinds of types of it. But there's one radio station that that just does podcasts. Oh, okay, <laughs> great. <laughs> okay, so if you like listening to people talk about very specific things, this is the radio for you. And, of course, there's a vast cornucopia of music on the FM dial. Uh, Brad, does this mean that whoever wins your uh, mini radio will no longer listen to Live for the Monkey House because they're going to be listening to FM? No, Am I going to lose a listener? No, I listen to it every day going to school and going back in the car. Just, but this is just for, like, when you're when you're just... 
when you just want to listen to radio and you're not in your car. Oh, okay, gotcha. So this is like when you leave the spaceship before you get to the space station, this is like the air tank that gets you from the spaceship to the space station. This radio is the same way. Like you stop listening to Kids Place Live in the car, then you turn on this radio, and that'll get you from the car into the house, and then once you're in the house, then you turn something else on, and then you go back a, a, about your business. Is that the idea? Yes, that's yeah. the idea. Okay, very good, everyone. This is a stopgap radio. Well, audience, it's time to present this trade to you now. This is a tiny uh, FM radio, not XM. You heard right, FM, ancient technology, uh, that Brad wants to trade for this Apple Jacks necklace. Audience, do we have a trade? Yes! Brad, you've got yourself a deal. How do you feel? Awesome. Oh, congratulations. Well, uh, tell your sister she's about to lose some teeth. I'm just going to fling this necklace okay. toward Georgia, and hopefully like a seagull or something picks it up and flies it the rest of the way there. And uh, I'm trying okay. to think of an old-fashioned an old -fashioned mode of transportation you could use to get an old-fashioned radio to Seattle. I don't know, maybe mm. put it on a, on a horse and buggy, and it'll get here in like a year. Does that sound good, Brad? Yeah. All I right. Really I really love your show. It's really oh. awesome. Oh, thanks, Brad. Well, that's even better than a trade. I'm just going to keep that compliment. Audience, give it up to Brad in Georgia, who just won our first round. Listen to Live from the Monkey House with Jack Foreman today at 5 p.m. East Coast time, 2 p.m. West, here on Kids Place Live. Uh.